I'm Ben Tish and this is a Great British Chef's Signature Series. I love monkfish and I think cooked on the bone it's, it's even better, you know. It looks great and it's a really kind of gutsy, vibrant dish. I mean, it's a pub at the end of the day so we want the dishes to be robust and, you know, kind of comforting. What I like about pubs is that they're incredibly accessible and versatile and I actually think they're the future. You can come in and have a pint and a bag of crisps. But, you know, in terms of what we're cooking, there's no different in the kitchens here than in a restaurant. So I'm Ben Tish, I am Chef Director at Cubit House Group. Um, and today we're at Princess Royal, beautiful old Georgian pub with rooms upstairs. Um, and we're gonna do today a bit of a signature dish here. It's been on the menu since we opened. Grilled monkfish, so we monkfish on the bone and we serve it with uh, some bellotti beans with mussels, fresh herbs, and then uh, gremolata that's spooned on the top of, at the end. We've got our bits here. First thing is our monkfish tail. So I'm just gonna give it a little prep. This is for one person, you know, two people could share it, but it kind of looks bigger uh, because, of the, because of the tail, basically, and the bone. So it's a, it's a really nice portion. So we use Wright Brothers. Uh, that's our kind of main fish supplier. We've got a really good relationship with them and they kind of really support us, making sure we, you know, we've got nice seasonal stuff and, and it's all sust sustainable. They'll let us know when something's not, we shouldn't be using and then we'll just listen to them. So that's kind of it really. Just trim off any of the, the membrane, but it's, it's pretty good. And then what we also need to do is just nick down the top of the bone, just to open it up a little bit. And that just kind of helps speed up the cooking process. So the first thing we need to do is get this on the grill. So just a little bit of oil, seasoning, there we go. Straight on a hot grill. It's important that we get, if the grill is hot, you want to get a nice kind of char on it. That's kind of smokiness that you get kind of really adds to the, to the flavor of the dish. So while that's cooking away, we can get our garnish ready. Um, so hot pan. We've got some blotty beans here, so we just cooked these in water with some vegetables. They were soaked overnight, cooked until they're nice and kind of tender. Go in the pan. And then we've also got here uh, some butter. Just want to pop that in. It just kind of helps create creaminess of the beans and so on. Just get all that, so the butter starts foaming away. We've got some sliced red chilli. Get that through there. Okay, so chilli, beans, butter going away there. Uh, now we're going to add our mussels. So we've got some shells because they're going to kind of be used for garnish and also these beautiful uh, lock etted mussels. They're really amazing. You see the size of them, they're huge and absolutely delicious. And here we've got some mussel stock. We've steamed the mussels before service with some white wine, a little bit of fish stock. Just as that's bubbling away, doing its thing, just with the back of a spoon, just break up a little bit of the beans. And all that does is just kind of that helps the sauce and kind of you know thickens and enriches the sauce. Just gonna add some parsley in there. So you can see how oh, that's kind of got like looks like kind of nice and creamy now. A bit of lemon juice. One good thing about uh, slicing the, the backbone, uh, down the backbone to kind of expose the flesh a bit is that you can see it's pink inside, that means it's still sl slightly undercooked. So it will become kind of white all the way through and you know you kind of know it's, know it's cooked then. But it's a meaty fish as well, so you can also give it a little press. If it's really soft, it's usually undercooked. When it's hard, it's probably overcooked. Just squeeze some lemon over that. I'm just gonna let that just have a minute's resting like with a piece of meat. Yeah, so I think we're gonna kind of plate this one up. Um, the only other element uh, for the dish is kind of this uh, herby gremolata. We've got parsley in there, we've got some basil in there, uh, we've got some marjoram in there, extra virgin olive oil, shallots, um, and some vinegar. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a gremolata, lots, lots, lots of lemon juice. There we go. Simply a uh, monkfish on top. Just some ripped basil leaves just over the top. The basil works really, it's really nice with the bloody beans. 
Okay, so that's my grilled monkfish tail with pilotti beans, gremolata, mussels and fresh herbs.